Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome back on this platform, BVI Channel 1, where truth is gospel. I'm still asking Channel Peters. Um, I came across a video interview, um, one of our mothers, Mama Eyom Anene, um, granted with BBC Igbo. She addressed it in Igbo, but in case you don't understand what she said, after watching this video, I'll be right back to explain it. Watch. Oh, um kanuji si kanad asero nja na si ke makaide ai ndi igbo ti adi chenant in the nigeria before i pour badia enwero niger delta avengers bana pam pam pa na 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 etika si de ni le okwa po ba po ba bana ba ezie na kulu okwa ndi ugu bidon kebe eh na ba na ba choro ija okwa na ba choro ndi ndi bido gure gure bombo ba ne ba ne ne okwa akpo ba ba na ba ezie ba si na very pent go e duluba ni ne we na ni dulu ndi mala akpo zigo bodo ebo ka ba je go akpo dulu ndi na teacher be na olu government hm paripentia obu na umu azigbo bido mebe mebe mkotu na facho biafra monu umu ibacho ke ibe sili ke ipo oba ka apa ise do ki ibu bebe ane ibu bebe na apo ba java ke ibe di difficult obu na umu ike obu na najira umu ike ipa witi nde nda Ba wutinda. Why ba reji ba wutumu kumu ba ya? Kama ka yisine. Good. You've had it from her, right? The bottom line of what she said there is if the federal government could negotiate with bandits, Boko Haram, they call them repentant Boko Haram, if the federal government can grant amnesty to the Niger Delta Avengers, what stops the federal government from negotiating with the biafra agitation not killing them some really and the rest of it that was what she was saying and i want to state further that why that would not happen is because our political class are not committed to it in as much I wouldn't want any negotiation with the federal government that will not result in balkanizing this country to regional government. That is our irreducible minimum. Everybody go and govern yourself. And make Nigeria truly a federal republic. That is our irreducible minimum. You know our people... We are so sentimental and emotion. We are so beclouded by our our emotion. Without that, without understanding that regional government, Bozoona, Nebai, that is our gateway to our freedom. Because you can't explain this crime against humanity in the name of a country called Nigeria, where the federal government will pose as big bros in Abuja, collect all the vats from the states across Nigeria and now give and now give a peanut to the south, give peanuts to the south compared with what they have gotten from the south and give the whole chunk to the north where they've gotten almost nothing. What do you call that? That is enslavement. You plunder the South. And you now reward the North for unproductivity. The same people will tell you that they are born to rule. The same people will tell you they have the numbers. We will lead Nigeria the way we have led Nigeria before. 
whether we are president or vice president or whatever, we will lead Nigeria. Not because we are better than anybody else, but because if you are doing a democratic game, the votes say vote who you want. We have the majority of the votes. Why does, do we need to accept a second class position when we accept, when we can fight for and get a first class position? Why? Why does anybody need to threaten us and cajole us and intimidate us? If you don't bring the presidency here, you will see. OK, let's see. We are willing to see. But when we get that power, when we get that power, in the name of God, be humble. Because power comes from God. You have the numbers during the elections, which we know how you come about the numbers. But you cannot translate that number into productivity. And you expect my people to fold our arms. I thank God these political class in the South are beginning to get the message that we've been preaching all this while. When I say Nigeria is a crime against humanity, when I tell you that Nigerians are victims of Nigeria, you will understand why I say that. It is robbing Peter to pay Paul. That is what Nigeria is. How can you explain in Kanu, Kaduna, Sokoto, and the rest of them were banned the sale of liquor? <laughs> So I will be like similar alumina shit and you will be like your man with him. Ah, Mijima DG Masigirma or Go or the Akari, who are the Miki Tarero, who are the Kua, Asalam Ali Kora who to lie over Katu. Kamaria the Kuka G, Bayani, Kumokuka Geni, Ayanzu, Chiwa who Kuma Hilma Chicken, Ayukanta, Nadak in the Badala. Masamba ma abundi kikau mai ko shaye shaye wande yenzi nze dugunzu ma koko lwa tang ada kai duma mo bar wana wana wale hul wande Allah and yet they benefit from the vat collected from the south from the sale of liquor. I recall this country one Nigeria. It is robbing Peter to pay Paul. It is just making our people slavishly industrious. So, the irreducible minimum, whenever you say, let us negotiate, let them negotiate with this, um, with this Biafra agitators, we have our terms. And our irreducible minimum, like I said, is return Nigeria back to regional government. That is the irreducible minimum. Because Obu Kodi and Inobi, it is outright balkanization of this country. Everybody go your own way. But we know why we say return Nigeria back to regional government. Because I believe we need to I batana bani, I biduzie duzie bani. I wear hot eye bani leje, hot kabia fragate. Because that is the only time and opportunity we have to include referendum. Just like the Scottish people. So, to everything we want, there is a process. To everything we are agitating for, there is a process. I would want these political leaders, opinion molders in our homeland to start making this demand. Because I was expecting these people to understand where we are going. If truly, they want the good of our homeland, the freedom of our people. I'm expecting the governors of the south to start demanding for good gov for, for regional government. That is it. If not, if Nigeria refused to bend to that, Nigeria would definitely break for that. And that is my stand. I think I've made the statement very clearly. Thank you, Mama, for you know voicing an opinion. I just wanted to take it further 
to what our demands are. We need to be very specific so that they will understand where we are coming from and where we are heading to. So I'm done my own. It's left for you to share. Drop your comment. Let me have your opinion on what I just said and what you just heard. Master Stilad Peters, signing out. Subscribe, like, and share. Stay safe. Bye-bye.